She's a dame, she's definitely a diva, and she's still a dazzling success. Yes, we're talking about Dame Kerry de Carnua. Now she's focused on finding the next opera superstar through a contest in the UK. The winner to get Dame Kerry's help to conquer the world. Jill Higgins was at the finals and saw quite a performance. <laughs> What I'm looking for is that performance tonight. It might not happen tomorrow night, but they've got the courage and the conviction to do it tonight. From 600 hopefuls down to just five. But that's still four too many. Only one aria can shine. So what do you think might make you stand out as the winner? Oh, what a question. <laughs> I hope that it will come across in my performance how much I actually love it. I don't know, I really don't know. I have a big voice. And I'm the only man and the only tenor. My fach, as we say <laughs> in singing, is one that doesn't come around so often. Sadly for some, Dame Kerry's decided looks won't come into it. Oh no, apparently um, that's why she wanted this competition to be on the radio, was for it to be purely based on the voice. And it's not about spotting new talent, because these contenders have trained for years. All these young people have come through the colleges. They've all been studying for more than five, six, seven years. They know exactly what to do. But it's where the level is, where their level is. And we'd like one of these, if it's possible, to go very, very far. And we'd like to be responsible for it. How on earth are you going to choose the winner? We just hope it'll be obvious. It sometimes is. On board a serious orchestra for this serious competition. It is vocal athleticism taken to the highest level of singing. I still get nervous for competitions. There is a lot at stake. Three weeks at Dame Kiri's Academy in Italy and a chance to sing at London's proms in the park. I thought it would be so amazing if I could even just be able to do one of the master classes with Dame Kiri. I found it out through Twitter. A friend tweeted me the details and I thought, oh, that sounds like a really good idea. So would other general talent shows appeal just as much? They have had a few, a few opera singers, classical, classically trained singers, um, but no, I don't think I would be tempted. I would feel a bit of a fraud if I walked into an X Factor competition, having trained for the best part of 25 years. I'm not sure that they'd like me. I'm terrified that they'd say, no, sorry, you can't sing, go home. <laughs> Any competition can be life-changing, though. For a young Kiri Takanua in the 60s, it was the stepping stone to fame, giving her something she greatly needed. It was the finance, really, because there was no finance. New Zealand didn't really provide any scholarships. And so began her glittering career, singing at the greatest opera houses, performing at a royal wedding, becoming almost like royalty herself. People say you have almost a, a regal air, given you were born in rural New Zealand. Where would you say that came from? From my point of view, uh, I, sort of, I think I am like that. I feel very proud of myself. You know, I came from nowhere, nothing, so, which is pretty amazing. My father was a very dignified man, even though he was a very simple and, and um, quiet man. And I see, I see it, the Maori people, even in, today in New Zealand, the old, the old guys on the Marae. They're very dignified. They have great pride. She's not short of pride either, though well-deserved, many would say. Oh, my goodness. I was in awe of her, you know, Dame Kiri Takanwa, this massive superstar. Ultimately, you know, I, I, Dame Kiri, along with various other singers, for me, are on my kind of pedestal. <laughs> Given this, a little diva behaviour isn't surprising. And here's a tiny taste. Well, you tell me what the, the absolute qualities that an opera singer. Excuse me, we're, um, we're sort of recording, so when you come and go, could you just come a bit quieter, please? Thank you. Had an influence on your own career. Uh, Michael, can we just go back on this question? So, can her young stars act the same way? They've sort of got to be nice. <laughs> they've got to be polite. They've got to have good manners and dress well. Well, it seems they've taken this on board and they clearly hold their tutor in the highest esteem. It's just so important to have someone like Dame Kiri to have her experience and her guidance. To feel that someone like that feels that you are worth nurturing in some way is really, really helpful. I just hope that if I, if I ever get to where she is now, I, I can do the same thing. I'm not their mother, I'm not their sister or their aunt. I'm just sort of hopefully the driving force. So what made you want to put so much time and money into this? Um, the, the, the success, it's really the satisfaction of the success. That's all I want because that's all I'm bothered about.
I know you're itching to open that envelope, but before you do, again, and without mentioning the name, what marked this particular person out? It had to be special. So who does she think is destined for greatness? If we could have a drum roll, please, maestro. Whoever wins this is, is going to be incredibly lucky. I'm hoping that it would open some doors. There's never really been anything else that I wanted to do. Oh, if I was to win, it would be quite terrifying. It would just be such an amazing stepping stone into my career. Shuna. <laughs> you really want them all to win. I can, I can only choose one. That's the, that's the hard bit. Thank you very much. <laughs>